Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. So till now we have seen how we can develop this add a new product component for uh, for an admin. So we have implemented all the APIs required to add a new product into a database and we have created a component on the UI side as well so that we can add a new product. So on the left hand side we have one small form where we can put some of the details about the products. On the right hand side we have the uh, image upload area where admin can drag and drop the image and also admin can browse the image. So let me just quickly show you uh, how uh, it will how it basically works. So let me just uh, drag any image and drop over here. So you will be able to see uh, image preview on the bottom area. Similarly, if you want, we can just browse uh, any of the image as well. So let me just try to browse and again we will be able to see the preview of that selected image into a bottom area and when I will click on the add product. So this particular product will be added into a database. So all these things which are related to the component are done. The only thing that is left back in this component is nothing but a security, which is really very important thing because we want to restrict this component only for an admin and we don't want to allow uh, anyone to add a product because admin is only one who is responsible to add a new product into a database. So that's the reason we have to apply a security as well. So again, uh, we have to apply security on both areas like backend and frontend as well. So let me just quickly show you uh, about the front uh, about the backend first. So let me just go to the IntelliJ and over here inside the um, SRC, we have to go under the main, then Java, and then we have to go to this com.youtube.ecommerce package under this we have again configuration package and under the configuration we have one class that is called as a web security configuration over here previously we have added our api into this uh, into this list so this is nothing but like we have disabled the security for this uh, add a new product api so that we were done just to just for a testing purpose and uh, just to make our uh, work easy but right now we want uh, to apply a security so very first thing is we have to remove his uh, api from this particular list so let me just remove this from our this particular list and authenticate and register new user will be will remain as it is and now let me just save this class now as we are now applying the security we have to tell that for which roles we want to allow this API to be called. So we want to allow this API to be called only for admin role. So we have to give uh, that uh, as well. So let me just go under the controller and let me just go to this product controller class. And over here, if you see like we have created this API previously, and now we want to just uh, tell the spring that this API is only applicable for an admin. So what we have to do is we have to just use one annotation that is called as a pre authorize like this and inside this we have to give double quotes and then what we have to do is we have to give a has role and then we have to give this bracket inside the single quote we have to give the name of the role. So name of the role is nothing but a admin role. So this is how we want to uh, give uh, this particular annotation. So you can just take a pause and you can just type it exactly same way and make sure there is no there should be no any spelling mistakes inside a, a role. And if you are not sure like how these roles are stored into a database, then let me just go to the MySQL and over here, let me just show the table that is called as a role. And inside this, if you see the role name, so role name is basically admin and which starts for capital A and for the user again the role name is a user which starts with a capital U so we have to start it with a capital A so now let me just come back to the IntelliJ and we have done every single thing from backend and applying the security is really very easy so there should not be any issue because that structure is already created we have to just apply some annotations. Now let me just restart the application and my application started successfully. And now let me just come back to my Visual Studio code because we have to apply some security from front end as well. Now let me just go under this SRC and let me just go inside app 
we have to open one file that is called as app routing module ts inside this we have to just give some configuration so if you see like we created a component add a new product so for this add new product we want to just apply a auth guard and again we have already done it for an admin component so we can just copy paste it or otherwise let me just type it so let me just give a comma and then let me just use can activate and which guard we want to use we want to use a auth guard so let me just use auth guard and then let me just use comma and then we have to give a data as well and for the data again we have to give curly brackets and then we have to mention all the roles uh, that we want to allow to come all the like we have to mention all the roles uh, for which we want to allow this component to be called so let me just use roles colon and then inside a bracket let me just use admin and again admin should be exactly same that we have used previously with the capital uh, a and every rest of the things will be in a small now let me just highlight the thing that i just added and make sure every single thing like curly bracket and colon comma every single thing is um, as it is because uh, if you just miss any small uh, any small comma then again you will get some error now again uh, this is the only thing that we have to do from the ui side as well now let me just save this file and let me just restart my application so let me just stop the current execution and let me just restart the application like this and let me just wait uh, till my application starts serving so it will be basically uh, it will basically take some time maybe a second or two and yes now my application is restarted let me just refresh this particular page and now again uh, from functionality perspective there will not be any change but it is just a addition into a security now let me just add iphone 7 and I, apple's iphone and let me just use 7500 and discounted price will be a 7100 and let me just try to browse any image and let me just try to drag and drop any image as well like this and now let me just try to add the product and again uh, the product is added into a database if we just go to the mysql and if we just go to the product table then we will be able to see the product id one is added and iphone 7 and all the price details are also added if we just go to the product images then for product id 1 we have uploaded two images so that's the reason we are getting the two entries so every single thing is working perfectly fine and uh, uh, like there is no any difference from the functional perspective but it is just nothing but a uh, addition to the security so this is how we can uh, apply the security to add new product component so, and uh, we have done every single thing and we have finalized our add new product component so i hope you you, you got an idea like how we can do every single thing into this add new product component but if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section i will try my best to help you out in that case so i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session